Good morning. How are you? I hope you're having a great morning. What is today? Tuesday. What today is? Yeah, today is Tuesday, October the 11th. Wow. This month is just flying by. It's almost halfway gone. By the end of the week, it'll be halfway halfway over and done, and we'll be almost to November already. How did this happen so fast? Wow. I guess that's better than it just dragging, <laughs> right? But, I, you know, time is not really technically speeding up or slowing down. There's still 24 hours in a day. It's just that we're trying as a culture, as a as a world, as a nat nation, we're just trying to cram so many things into that 24 hours and it makes it feel like it's shrinking from both sides, right? <laughs> so, but the good thing is we still have 24 hours a day. So time's not really shrinking, even though it kind of seems that way. It seems like it's, it's hard to, to navigate things. It's, I, I'm, I'm like, I felt like I got so much done yesterday and then I, and then I looked at my, my book it was like I didn't actually get much done yesterday, but I I thought I did, and that helped. That was helped me keep a good attitude. So I've got a lot to, I've got to catch up with my behind. <laughs> that would be a good thing, right? Before I can even start working on some other things. So my goodness, it's just been it's just been crazy. But I have to say, God has truly uh, continued to bless, and so far I have Chris's. Uh, physical therapy under control. I should say God has his physical therapy under control. So we're good to go for tomorrow. I can't wait. We do another session and, and I've already got Monday taken care. I think it's Monday next week. And uh, I know the holidays will take a couple of weeks off probably. So we'll see. But anyway, I know that God is faithful. He is faithful. That doesn't mean I don't have to work. And sometimes our work is just trusting him, right? Sometimes, and uh, Jesus said, I believe it's in John 6, that the work of God is to believe in him who he has sent. So believing in God is the only work we're supposed to do because God's got us covered, right? We, we have to put our trust in him. And that's what I was looking at this morning. Um, uh, I was uh, In my studies, I was looking at a whole lot of, this morning I, in meditations, really. I was just thinking about all these different stories in the Bible where God came through. You know, we don't really have any stories, do we, where he just didn't show up and everybody died and nobody cared, <laughs> you know, but there's bad stuff that happened in the Bible. You know, you know, sometimes faithers want us to think that nothing ever bad happens. Tell that to Daniel. Tell that to Joseph. Tell that to Paul. Tell that to Jesus. You know, faith doesn't mean bad things don't happen. Did I say that right? Yeah. Faith means that when things happen, when life happens, when we face hard circumstances or, or difficult situations in our life, terrible relationships or, or, or losses or all this, it means God's still there, right? And so I was looking back and, you know, I don't have a, a, a book handy, but my devotional, it's 31 days in Psalm 31. I found myself back in Psalm 31 this morning, and there was several times, I want to say, I'm looking here, I think three or four times that David says, I put my trust in God. He starts out with the first verse, in you, O Lord, I put my trust in you, and that's the only way we're going to peace out, right, when we put our trust in him. In, you, in verse 1, he says, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. In uh, verse 6, he says, but I trust in the Lord. I trust, I'm going to trust God, he says. In verse 14, he says, but as for me, sorry, I gleeked, but as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. And I don't think I see another one, but uh, these just three or four times he's saying, I'm going to trust God. What other options do you have? Are you going to trust yourself to make perfect decisions? Right? I, I don't think I will. <laughs> I make some dumb choices sometimes. They're just dumb. Sometimes they're because uh, maybe I'm battling depression. Maybe it's because I'm, uh, I feel a sense of loss and I'm trying to make up for it. Uh, maybe it's because of loneliness. I'm trying to think of something else. I don't know because I don't major on those things. Right? But no matter, our emotions can, can swallow us sometimes. And then we make bad decisions. Are you going to trust yourself to make just make good decisions? Do you, and we should trust ourselves. I mean, you know, I'm not talking about talking bad about ourselves, but is that where we're going to put all of our confidence and all of our trust? Are we going to trust the economy? No, we better not. 
are we gonna are we gonna trust uh, our friends? Now, and there's a level where we trust our friends, but are we gonna trust them as our re as that redeeming factor? Right? We're gonna trust that because friends don't always stay when when things get really bad. They don't stay. I can tell you. You know, you I, you see it on your Facebook feed a lot too. That when you know. There's all these memes about, um, you know, you find out who your real friends are when you really go through something. And this is true, guys. They can't, your friends, even though they love you, can't always walk with you through some of your difficulties. Sometimes the difficulties are in our brain or in our emotions, and they really can't, right? But sometimes when things get hard, they don't know what to do with you. You know, with, with Chris, it's something, I, I have a lot of, of friends that I don't even talk to anymore because they don't know what to do with me. It makes it difficult to make new friends because what do you do with this situation? Because we don't, it's not the norm, right? And so even though, so they can't always walk with you. But I, you know, I was thinking just last night, uh, the disciples were in the boat in the storm and Jesus walked to them in that storm. Now we've talked about that before, but I had this question pop up when I was thinking and meditating on that story last night. Did they pray? Were they praying in the boat? It doesn't say, right? I mean, I would think they were saying, oh, God, help us get to the other side, <laughs> right? Or or help us know what to do, you know, uh, or something. But did they pray? We, we don't even know. Maybe they were praying, and maybe Jesus walking out on the water was an answer to their prayer. But Jesus had told them to go to the other side, so there wasn't any other option. They were going to make it to the other side. We can count on what God tells us. He tells us. My peace, I'm leaving with you. We can count on that. We can't count on everything in our life going perfect every time. That would be kind of boring anyway, right? We wouldn't need any problem-solving skills. <laughs> we wouldn't need any navigation, help navigating through the difficult waters of life, right? If everything was just perfect and peaceful all the time. But he does promise us that, what does it say? Let's go back to Isaiah 43. He promises us that when we go through the waters, they won't overtake us when we go through the floods we won't be we won't be swept away right let's see he says when you pass through the waters i will be with you he never says go get it i'm not with you on that i don't know i'm not going there no i'm not going to that no i'll just wait here or i'll, I'll wait for you on the other side because i'm god i can wait over there i don't have to go through the, the difficult times i don't have to i don't have to tread through those dark nights with you because i'm god and i'm light so i'll just be on no he's like when you go through stuff i am with you you that's something you can put your trust in you can trust that god is there whether you acknowledge him or not whether you even care or not or whether you're crying out in desperation like hannah that's she was someone else i was looking thinking about and meditating on this morning she cried out in desperation to god give me a child and god answered with samuel he not only gave her a child, he gave her a prophet that was going to change the nation and give the nation direction for years to come and be just so connected with God from the time he was a child. You know, we have, we, we, we just see so many people in scriptures who cried out in the time of their need, who chose to trust God in the midst of of difficult waters in the midst of difficult situations and and dealing with very hard things and God came through every time they didn't always get exactly what they wanted but they always got what they needed right God will meet us at that point of need he will meet us at that point of desperation he will meet us at that point of despair and if you don't have anything bad going on in your life right now and you don't need anything check your breath check your pulse <laughs> one two three <laughs> right because there's always something going on we never have a handle on everything like we maybe even think we do we are always in a position to trust God more even if you're in a good spot I mean I'm not saying we get in good spots right the money's okay our relationships are okay there's nothing really major got a couple of little things over here over there maybe a job thinking about changing jobs thinking about this thinking about it maybe it's okay so it's not too bad you're still in the perfect place to trust God because take a deep breath because you will face something at some point because that's life how boring would it be if we just were mummies walking around not doing anything no emotions nothing ever 
upset our apple carts, never, never a last straw on a camel's back, right? How boring would it be? We wouldn't need any help, but thankfully life isn't that way, right? There's always something going on. We, even if you feel like everything is, is, is safe right now, sometimes that's the thing. We, maybe we feel safe, sometimes we don't feel safe with our emotions, with our finances, with our family, with our friends, with whatever we're going through, right? And sometimes we, we feel like we're in a good place. We still need God. We still have to trust him because one little decision. What, you know, you, you've seen the stories, one little bad decision. Uh, what was the story? Um, Will Smith did it and, and he was, he was poor and, uh, he he made the started making the right decisions right but then you can make one little decision uh pursuit of happiness that was it you know but you can you make a, a bad decision a bad investment decision and you lose it all you know i'm not an investor so i don't know about that but i know sometimes you you make just the wrong choice and you lose it all right it's you're one decision away from total collapse but you're also one decision away from total victory, right? So it doesn't matter where you are on this spectrum of emotions, on the spectrum of circumstances, in the in your relationship circles, in your prayer life, it doesn't matter. You today is a good day to trust God. Ain't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. It is. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, and we're all in different places. I'm looking at some of the comments now, my friend Terry, my friend Jeannie, you know, and we're all in different places. We're dealing with different things and we're all in the perfect place to trust God. So no matter if you, you think everything's going great right now, that does not indicate in any way that you don't need to trust God because you never know what is going to be there, good or bad right you you maybe you're in a the pit of despair but that's okay too it's okay if it feels like everything is going bad it feels like you're totally out of control that's usually where we get messed up because we feel like we're not in control well i got news for you you're not supposed to be in control if you <laughs> sometimes it's a all a control thing our emotions are i can't control this person i can't control this situation i can't make that pain go away i can't get out of this cave by myself or things like that and so sometimes it's a matter of i don't feel like i'm in control well you're not supposed to be in control you're not supposed to trust yourself to be able to control all of the elements of life you're just supposed to let those elements be while you hold on to God and you trust God, while you go through those things, in the midst of those things, he walks, what's that old song, is it Dottie Rambo, God, no, uh, Vestal Goodman used to sing, God walks the dark hills, you know, and then um, he's still God of the valley, uh, there's some, uh, some of those old songs, they let us know that people we kind of idolized in, in gospel music and in Christian music and, and not so much contemporary maybe, but they went through some stuff, but they knew they could trust God. They knew they could trust God and they, they were singing about you when things look like they're going downhill, just trust God. When they look like they're going uphill, just trust God. When it looks like you're on a level playing field right here and we're good right now, we're going to be good right now. You still got to trust God. Today is a great day to trust God with whatever's on your plate. Good, bad, indifferent, <laughs> whatever. Whatever's going on in your life, today is a good day to trust Him. And when we trust Him, we will find that He gives us peace. We can peace out. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.